Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to another video. Uh, today's song that I'm going to be trying to teach, trying to, I always say trying to because I don't do a good job, but it's going to be going with the theme of which holiday is coming up soon, Halloween. Well, one of them is, and then one's just like from a scary movie. It's not really Halloween related, but it's, it's a horror movie. So, you know, it's like you could say, I, I know what you did last summer was a holiday. I mean, it was a Halloween movie. It's not Friday the 13th. Also not a Halloween movie. There's really not many Halloween movies, if you actually think of it. Horror movies, there's a lot of them. There's very well-known horror movies with well-known killers. Halloween, though, is, of course, Michael Myers. Halloween, the movie. There's how many of them now? Like 11 or 12 or something? Um, the last one at the box office did a good job. I'm surprised. I thought it was going to be a flop, actually, if I had to guess. But it did well. It did better than I thought. This intro has went on long enough, so it's going to be the Halloween theme and the Exorcist theme. Exorcist has nothing to do with Halloween, but it's scary. So, those two themes. Stick around. Okay, so the Halloween theme first goes... And, and it's just it's just that like actually right off the bat um i never really knew which key it, it was in <laughs> i do it there but it can be like anywhere the, the 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 lick itself can be played anywhere really like can be played anywhere. I choose to play it here, around the um, seventh and ninth fret, on the B and the E. It's going to be all on the B and the E strings. Um, yeah, so it's kind of like where you want to play it. it. I've seen like tabs showing it here, and I've seen them all the way up here. So it doesn't really matter where you play it, because it's the actual uh, lick or riff or whatever you want to say it is. But, so what it is, is... Nine seven nine seven seven. So it's nine seven seven over and over again. Nine seven seven nine seven seven nine seven seven nine seven. So and then you get that ten. I think it's four times in a row with the nine seven seven, and then you go. So after four times, you go nine, seven, ten, seven. Then you go up to the eight and six. And then you go back to the nine. So, so like wherever you are, you go kind of up a uh, um, half step and then go kind of back down that half step. So you can do um, eight and six. Eight six six eight six six eight six six eight six six eight six um nine six so and then back to the seven and nine You can kind of go up and down. Is, 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 is just have fun with it. That's the lick. The whole point was the lick. Um, e string, wherever the note is. <laughs> so, so like, like the simplest way to do it, yeah, you can do E string. Pick a note. Like, seriously, because I've seen tabs. I don't know why, but I don't know why the, the real one is not is kind of hard to figure out. <laughs> it's not hard exactly. Probably someone could easily just say, oh, it's in the key of whatever. But, um... Yeah, I've seen a lot of tabs with a lot of different areas of doing this. But the lick itself is high E, pick a note, go a half step down on the B. So, 
and as long as you're there and you're actually you're going to hit that extra um, half step up as long as you do that you can do it anywhere you want really um and just have fun with it just keep going up and down the go <laughs> go up and down the fretboard and as long as you do e b b e b b e b b e e with the high step okay so and you get that little bit nine seven ten seven and then back into it's, it's as long as you get that down you can kind of do it wherever you want uh there is that bass i do it as um Which, if you're going to play it my way, which, again, I've seen tabs that don't show it this way. Um, second fret on the low E. Fifth fret. Sixth fret. Open. Two. Five. Six. Open. And then you go down. Three. Six. Seven. You can keep going for you know it it, it it goes up so yeah those are the halloween uh little things to play if you wanted to play the halloween theme song okay going with that first now the exorcist theme so the exorcist i'll play the riff or the lick i never really is it lick or riff when you do the i don't know riff i'll play it without the open strings in between so and what that is is all on the high e string five seven three five, five i mean uh eight ten seven eight so Five, seven, three, five, eight, ten, seven, eight. But now there is kind of, you're supposed to play the open E in between, in between the five. And then the th five and the seven, five open, seven open. But then three fives together. So don't do three open, seven. So. So the open, the, the way you don't do open is three, five, seven, eight. Those are together, but other than that, after every other note, you're supposed to do an open E. So, five open, seven open, three fives together, don't do it open, eight open, ten open, seven eight is not open together. So those, so, so those are the ones you don't do open E, but you're supposed to do open E after every other note. So you could, that's why I've seen Buckethead, um, Buckethead is very well known for playing the song, and he doesn't even pick. Because so, you can kind of just uh, do it with, if you have a lot of distortion. Because you can kind of, when you, when you hit the uh, fifth fret and you can kind of pull off, hit the seventh fret, pull off, and then just when you do the three five, you hammer on. You can't hear because it it's because I don't have enough distortion on, and it wouldn't sound good doing it that way. That's why I was picking it. But if you have a lot of distortion and you can hear it, like let me see if I can. Uh, wait, sorry. So, 
And of course, you, that actually didn't help that much. I put a little distortion on. It didn't help as much, but if you have a guitar and an amp with a strong distortion, you don't even really have to pick it when you play it. You just um, hit the fifth fret, pull off, hit the seventh fret, pull off, and then hammer on three to five. And then you do eight pull off, ten pull off, hammer on seven to eight. So you don't really have to do um, pick it if you have a lot of distortion on. But though, that is the way you play it. And uh, yeah, I guess that would be it for the Exorcist theme. That's a quick one. And um, the Halloween theme, again, is... Uh... And then that's it. I have a Michael Myers mask that I was going to wear in this video. But I bought it, and I'm like big kind of like I'm, I'm like six four and i'm I got a big head i take like a, this hat's uh an eight and a fourth no wait sorry eight and an eighth yeah it's not even an eight it's an eight and an eighth like those hats are hard to find and when i got the mask home because it said one size fits all i tried to put it on and it didn't fit which i was disappointed at but yeah, so I was gonna wear the michael myers mask but i uh it doesn't fit okay so that'll do it for um the Halloween theme and the Exorcist theme. If you uh, liked it, please. Yep, I always forget the. So that'll do it for uh, the Halloween theme and Exorcist theme. If you liked it, please hit that like button, subscribe down below, have a happy and safe Halloween. See you guys later. Gadoosh.